welcome back to my channel so today you guys will be spending some time with me in the kitchen I am getting ready to add a meal in the slow cooker and of course I will share that recipe with you guys as well and I also want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring a small portion of today's video I will share a little bit more about them later on in this vlog and also let me start this video off with a prayer y'all already know so let me get the prayer so today's prayer is our most gracious, kind, and loving Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the gift of life. Today, I choose not to worry about anything. Let me feel there, that there is hope in this hopeless world, and I will never stop praying because I really know that without your help, I can go one more step, and your grace is enough for me. May you grant all the desires of my heart and bless my life according to your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I hope that prayer blesses you today. So let's get started with this meal because I'm kind of starting a little bit late today. Um, I should have been had this in there, but it's with chicken thighs and I had to take the skin off the chicken thighs. Y'all, I hate doing that. I can't stand. I should have bought boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but these have skin on them. They're on sale. It has the bone and the skin on it. They were on sale. Y'all know the price of me is kind of high right now. So <laughs> I just had to um, clean that off this morning. So now I'm going to season it, cook the, sear the chicken thighs, and then add that to the slow cooker. All right, y'all. So it tells you to season the um, chicken thighs with some salt and pepper, but mm -mm. I use some Laurie seasoning and the by the uh, seasoning salt to season the chicken thighs. And I'm about to sear it now. So now I'm getting ready to add two cans of ooh, coconut milk. That came out kind of strong, didn't it? I love the smell of coconut, so. So I'm getting ready to add two. I just added two cans of coconut milk. I'm going to add some basil as well. So remember the recipe will be down in my description box where it says fall dinner slink. And now I'm going to add some salt. I like to use sea salt. And I just measure, I just kind of eye it. Some sea salt, and then I'm adding some pepper. I love this little thing, cause you know, it gives you fresh cracked crack pepper. <laughs> but I do like it Let me measure and now I do have to measure this because I don't want to irk over curry my stuff if that's even a word <laughs> so I'm gonna add two tablespoons I think that's good and then I'm also going to be adding some chili powder just a little bit not too much That's good. And then I'm going to stir. So I'm, for me, I am going to be using a whisk. All right, y'all. So now we're going to be adding the red onions. And then I also have to add some garlic in here. I like to use a lot of garlic. I love garlic, like the smell of garlic, everything. Let me get some garlic. All right, y'all know that I love buying the pre-minced garlic. That's my favorite. So I'll use about this much. And then I'm going to whisk it again. 
before I add the chicken. I'm gonna turn this on high because I'm kind of starting a little later than I wanted to. All right. Oh, so onion is stuck in there. All right, y'all. So now I am adding the chicken. Since these have the bones later on, once it's done cooking, I'm going to take the chicken out and then um, take the bones out and then add it back in there. I'll show you guys that later. There's a few more steps after this. So once it cooks, that's when I um, just leave it in there for now and then I'll come back later and stir. It's going to be so good. So it's Friday and y'all know on Fridays I love to bake so that when my kids come home from school I can have a nice baked treat for them. But before I get to baking I want to open up this Thrive Market box. So thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of today's video and I can't wait to show you guys what I ordered. Thrive Market is an online grocery store. It's membership based and that membership fee can be as little as $5 a month, which pays for itself because the prices for their grocery items is so good. They have way more than just groceries. They have pantry staples, cleaning supplies, kids and baby stuff, beauty and wellness items, and they also even have supplements. So I will show you guys everything that I got. Their website is super easy to navigate. Also, they ha also have an app as well, but real quick, I just noticed that the person that packaged my box signed it as well, so that's, that's super cool. They have so many options that you guys can filter out for whatever you're looking for to fit your lifestyle and also your dietary needs as well. And they're also accessible, which is great because you can literally order from the comfort of your own home. The good thing is that they're accessible, which is great because you can also save on your grocery bill by 30%, which I think is pretty awesome. Especially compared to just walking into the grocery store, you actually get to do it from the comfort of your own home. So if you're interested in getting a membership for yourself, I'll make sure to have it in my description box for you all. So it's thrivemarket.com slash simply to receive a $60 gift when you join today. All right, y'all. So I wanted to show you the items that I got from Thrive Market. The first thing that I got was the veggie wash. I've been meaning to try this for quite some time. So this one removes waxes pesticides and soil so i can't wait to try this because y'all when i go grocery shopping i have to prep my fruit and stuff like that and i would love to um have something like this and, and then this is what i'm actually baking today and i'm so excited it's a simply simple meals almond flour baking mix vanilla cupcake and cake only purposeful ingredients nothing artificial ever so i'm excited to bake with this so you only need like what, three eggs, oil, water, and vanilla. So that's pretty simple. I think the kids will enjoy that. So we'll be making that today. And I've been meaning to try this Bon Ami. I've been hearing nothing but good things about it. It's scratch-free powder cleanser. Powerfully cleans without harsh chemicals. So um, I can't wait to try this. You can use it in your kitchen, cookware, and also bathroom. Y'all know is that flu season coming up, the cold season, and y'all know I also love essential oils. So I got the Thrive Market Organic Defense Essential Oil, and hopefully I'm going to be diffusing some of this. I'm actually going to diffuse this now. A lot of people have been getting sick, um, and kids at school are getting sick and, sick and stuff, so I would love to do anything I can to prevent it from happening. Also, I got, this one was actually a free item for me. So this is a Welcome to Skin and Hair and Wellness. It's a brightening facial scrub. Y'all know I love stuff like this. <laughs> Ultra hydrating 12 hour facial moisturizer, juice cleanse, super greens, and adaptogens shampoo. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. And then probiotics. Um, I take probiotics every single day. I've never tried this brand before, but this is one of the top brands that's always being recommended. So I want to try this one. The one I try, I'm try, i taking right now is a store, store brand one, but I want to see if there's a difference with this one. I am so happy for the fact that I get to, they don't even know I'm baking today because sometimes I switch it up on them because if not, they will expect me to bake every Friday. I'll bake like in the middle of the week or something like that. So they don't know I'm baking today, so they'll be happy. Um, but 
but at the same time, I don't have to spend too much time in the kitchen baking because I'm using this. So it asks for you to use three eggs, so I'm gonna do that now. I feel like I smell like a curry chicken. <laughs> I feel like I smell like curry. I probably don't, but I feel like I smell it, you know? So I'm getting ready to diffuse the essential oil. And I'm gonna diffuse it also in the living room. Can't wait to try this one. So the muffins, um, the, actually the cupcakes are out of the oven and I'm going to let that cool before I frost them. From picking Destiny up from school, and you come in the kitchen now. I told her she gonna have to wait. Come on, you wanna see what it is? She don't know what it is. I made her drink. Hey, Hold you on. come in. Yay! Yeah. Uh -uh. You wash your hands. I Go ahead, wash your hands first. It. What is it? Cupcakes. What's on the cupcake? Ah, you'll have to taste it. You gotta let me know yourself. No. Let me put this light on. Meh. Meh. Oh, that. Yeah, that one's That's okay. Here, you want one? Mm -hmm. See, you have the first one. Here you go. Yeah. I'm so happy it's Friday. Mm. Like them? What is it? Frosting? Frosting? Yeah, that's frosting right there on top. You like it? I'm gonna my almond flour. Almond flour. Hmm. I know, it's different, huh? You like it though? Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting ready to clean up the living room. It's not really dirty per se, but it does need to be vacuumed and like wiped down because it's really dusty in here. <laughs> it's been a minute since I dusted and I need to dust the mirrors, the mirror. I noticed that it was like specks of dust on there. So I'm just gonna tidy up the living room and maybe the half bathroom and stuff like that to get some cleaning done. So that I'm good for this weekend. Drown out the rain, but will it make sense? 
I took the bones out, shredded it, and added it back in there. I also added some uh, ginger, and now I'm adding, and I also used one tablespoon of cornstarch, mix it in with some cold water to thicken up the sauce, and then I added the chicken in there. Now I'm adding some cilantro. So I'm gonna stir this up, close it back up, and then I'm gonna make some rice, and that's how I'm gonna serve it. Some rice, and then this uh and the meat on top meat with the sauce it's gonna be so good john is excited he asked me what was for dinner today <laughs> which by the way i need to make the menu for next week um i'll work on that either today or tomorrow you know what i'm thinking that's right that's fine i love cilantro so i'm gonna just close that back up in there my husband is home I was waiting for him um and he brought me a cake so one of his co-workers or someone that works at his job makes cakes and she made a pineapple cake what was it last week John yeah. oh my god it was the bomb I mean, it didn't last long enough to record so <laughs> yeah, she, he's right but it was small it was tiny John come on now it was tiny but it was so good oh my god now this red velvet I can't wait to dig in. John got one for his co-workers. They um, ate some at his job. And then John, oh, some of it came off. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look at that red velvet cake. Yeah, sweetie. Who's sweetie, me or your daughter? Destiny. Oh. She's 
I thought I was just sweet. You are. You're my sugar lips. Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> Good morning. Now it's like the next day. It's super early in the morning. Say good morning, babe. Good morning. And John and I are running our errands. Oh, sorry y'all for that shake. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the Goodwill, but before we do that, I'm gonna stop by. It's early Saturday morning, so I'm gonna stop by the Dollar General. Remember last vlog? And um, get what I need to get. And what else am I gonna do? Oh, we're going to go get breakfast, our ritual Chick-fil-A. John and I like getting our um, sausage bowls. What is it? Like the sausage egg bowls? Um, oh, okay. um, the sausage egg bowls with hash browns and orange juice. We do that most Saturdays. Anyway, and what else? And then go to the Goodwill. But instead of me showing you guys what's inside Goodwill, I'm gonna film that for TikTok because I'm always showing you guys the good, what the Goodwill has. Um, I'm gonna sh f show it a little bit for TikTok. Um, what else? Because I ain't posting on TikTok for like two days, so I'm gonna do that. And I might have to get some stuff from Walmart, so we'll see. But we just get ready to run some errands, and then once I get home, I got a few things to do. Remember that um, picture that I found at the Salvation Army that I need to DIY? Most likely I'll be doing that today, but I need John to unscrew the back because it's screwed in. It has some screws back there for it to hold everything in. So once he does that, I'm gonna um, spray paint that today and stuff. And I gotta get some cleaning and stuff done around the house. I ain't cooking today. <laughs> it's every person for themselves make sandwiches or something, but I ain't cooking today. It's like they're coming out with their Christmas stuff, you guys. Let's see this one. They got the wrapping papers out. Oh, they got plenty here, y'all. So I'm gonna get two of these. The gain ones are my favorite. They, I mean, they got a bunch that smell good, but the gain is my favorite. And it's a coupon for one of these. And then a coupon, $2 off of um, the small spaces. Where's, I need a single one though, not a double. Yep, I'm, I was hoping to find a, um, oops, oops, oops. I was hoping to find, let me fix that. The, thank you, babe. You know, the game ones are my favorite. If not, I'll get whichever, it don't matter. There you go. Oh, they're in the, well, the double ones are in the back, but. I mean, it's whichever one, because you're going to put one in the car? You can just pick whichever one you want, then. Okay. Oh, I never seen these before. These are the paper towel wipes. Oh, I like that. Man, I should try it. <laughs> Let me see what's in that one's jasmine. This one's lemon verbena. I think I'm gonna try jasmine. The apple cider. I've never seen the apple cider before. I wish they had this by itself though. So I don't need another plug in. They do have holiday smells here like they have the cranberry tart okay come through oh this is no but this is not the six pack though i don't see the six pack they oh. said six pack or larger um how much is this one though let me turn it oh this is a six pack right here yeah That's a pack. oh <laughs> i can't count <laughs> you're fired <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna grab one. So put that. Oh, just care. Look at their Christmas stuff. Hey guys, I'm back home now. So y'all already seen what I pretty much got from Dollar General. I got mainly hygiene stuff from Walmart, like deodorant and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't want to see that. And I got an extra backup one moisturizer for my face because my Aveeno clear complexion moisturizer is sold out on Amazon 
Did you guys do that? Was it y'all? Did y'all get them? And now they're sold out and I can't find them? But they do have them at Walmart. So if you're looking for it, you can find it at Walmart and also Target as well. But I can't wait to try this today. And I'm going to stock up the, put away the Febreze. This, John loves these for his um, truck. And I put them in our, in our car too. Um, we need some more finish till we get to Costco or Sam's. We just got this for now. I did find this at the Goodwills, two dollars for Christmas. You know, let me show you what I got. It's only two things I got from the Goodwill, but I'm kind of happy about this one. All right, y'all. So this lamp is huge. I got this lamp for the living room. I needed to replace the lamp in the living room, but I didn't want to come out of pocket and pay a bunch of money for it. Lamps are expensive, and mine needed to be replaced. I've had it for more than ten years, um, and this is kind of the style now like that speckled whatever you call that but I'm not keeping it like that I'm gonna spray paint it and get rid of this I'm gonna use the lampshade that I have in the living room on this one and spray paint this today but this is the stuff that you see at Target like Studio McGee and stuff like that you can find stuff um, a lamp like this at Kirkland's guess how much it was it was $13.99 so not bad um, it's pretty yeah I'm gonna spray it's gonna look prettier when I spray paint it a lot of people will keep it like this um, or spray paint it black like they do that you know how some people like they use paint and they put baking powder and stuff in it to make it give it that textured look um, that's what a lot of folks are doing now but I'm spray painting this to, to fit with my decor and style and changing the lap shade Oof.
remember two vlogs ago, Dusty and I found this at the Salvation Army for $3.99. I just spray painted the inside of this frame and then I spray, um, I used the bronze gold spray paint, the same thing I used for the lamp. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like the theme, a little bit of the theme I'm using this year, which is like, not really Wonderland, like winterish type look incorporated with what I got going on already. But oh my God, I, y'all, I love this. Exactly how I envisioned it. Not bad for $3. So I'm still doing laundry, but I'm almost done. I only got the white clothes left, and then I'm getting ready to put that in the dryer. And then that's it. Tonight we're gonna do movie night. We didn't do movie night yesterday. Normally we do it on a Friday, sometimes Saturday. But we're doing movie night tonight. And yeah, that's all I got going on, guys. So that will be all. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market's link. It will be down in my description box. Also, don't forget to also give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye.